Capitol for eight years. He's never done an interview until now. The Newcastle owner with David Craig. Mike, thanks very much for joining us on Sky Sports. First and foremost, I've got to ask you just how disappointed are you to arrive here today and find Newcastle in this situation? I can't have really imagined it from uh, Christmas. I uh, probably didn't anticipate we would be anywhere near the situation. So, obviously, after the last sort of couple of weeks, I'm still a little bit shocked by uh, where we find ourselves today. The fans want to know who's responsible. In your opinion, is it collective responsibility or does it stop at your door? My door. The second question to that is, what would you do if the worst happens to this football club today and it falls into the championship, mate? Right? If you're talking about investing in the club, I will continue the policy of investing in the football club. Will you invest enough to make sure it comes back at the first attempt of the Premier League? Yes, if, you're, if, you're, if there is such a thing, if you're able to guarantee that, I would like to say I could guarantee that that investment, but obviously the results is not something that I can... If the best happens and you stay in the Premier League today, what's your plan for the club? Well, we, it, on the only positive, I think, we've got the club on a very sound financial footing, so we are able to spend relatively and punch above our weight now with the current financial situation the club finds itself in. If you hadn't come into this club when you did and feared the debt, where do you think it would be? Uh, financially not as strong, but, that, but that unfortunately I'm going to add to that 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 isn't really good enough. So it's no good having a horse and cart scenario. And we may have the cart financially, but we now need to bolt the horse on, and we're going to. What's your ambition for the club? It's now going to be definitely to win something. And by the way, I shan't be selling it until I do. Can we just be clear on that? Because there's been so much rumour whether you might, might not. The club is not for sale. Not at any price. And by the way, when I say win something, if we ever get in a position that we get a Champions League place, that also qualifies as winning side. What's your message to the fans today ahead of this game? Today, we don't need to be unlucky. Not today, but from this day forward, we will definitely be making our own luck. And finally, Mike, there are obviously one or two things to be sorted out come the end of the season. Can we expect you and your advisors to be acting on that fairly imminently with regards to appointments of managers and such like? Well, on, on that basis, it's Lee Charnley and the football board that make those decisions, as it was Derek Lambar's report in Alan Partridge. So I will not be picking the next manager. It's not what I do. My job is to make sure they have the maximum amount of financial resources, and it's their job to get the best pound-for-pound pound value out of those resources. And to be very clear, you're here to stay, and you want to make this club successful. To be categorically clear, I'm not going anywhere until we win something. Mike, we wish you well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.